Question number 11 is a nice surprise packet. However, if you deal the question, technically you can find the solution without single calculation. Let's try to say. It's an LCR circuit is equivalent to a damped pendulum because the damping factor here is the resistance. In a simple pendulum, it's the air friction which causes the damping and here the resistance. If QM is the maximum charge and capacitor, so maybe that initially the circuit has been triggered by giving capacitor the charge, but you know over the period of time the charge would decrease in magnitude because of resistance. And we need to choose the variation of QM square with time. So a qualitative analysis would be more than enough and it's given L1 is greater than L2. First of all, you can use a common sense that the variation can't be linear. So this would be ruled out. The charge on the capacitor would not be constant. So this would be ruled out. Now I have third option and fourth option. You know that if inductance is greater, the circuit would be more inertiatic. So the changes would not come abruptly. So the changes always occur faster in case two as compared to case one because it has less inertia. So the change means the decrement occurring faster in case two as compared to one. So out of three and four, we have correct option as three. But if we want to go mathematically, you know that as amplitude a naught e raised to the power minus bt by 2m where b comes out to be the damping factor this is the expression of decreasing amplitude in case of simple pendulum and here b of course would be replaced by the inductance and you can come up with the same conclusion so now let's go to question number 12 Question number 12 is another beautiful setup and that's again related to capacitor and those graph. It says C is this varied from 1 microfarad to 3 microfarad. Then how does charge on 2 microfarad which is denoted by Q2 vary? So we need to see the variation of Q2 with respect to C. So first of all, what I'll do, let me try to calculate the charge on 2 microfarad as a function of C. First, the net capacitance, this is 3 and C in series. So that would be 3C by 3 plus C is the net capacitance. Into E would give me the charge through this root. And that charge would go in the ratio of 2 is to 1. So 2 third of this charge would go to 2 microfarad. And you could see this now comes out to be 2CE divided by 3 plus C. Now, let me see the initial and final value of charge. Initial means when C is 1 microfarad, it's very simple. That comes out to be E by 2. And final, when C is 3 microfarad, so 6 by 6, that would be 1 and that will be E. So you got the initial and final value of charge across this. It is increasing. Now, if it is increasing, this option would be ruled out because that's decreasing. This can also be ruled out because the variation of Q with C is not linear. So this option also goes. Now for the choice between 1 and 4, I can give you two ways. One analytically and based on the previous experience, if the charge is increasing, that goes in an exponent of this fashion. That is purely basis the experience. So that would lead to option number four. Or if I go mathematically, I have to calculate the second derivative. So if I calculate the second derivative, dq2 by dc, if I calculate it, that's a first derivative that would come positive, of course, because the charge is increasing. And the second derivative will come out to be negative. And if second derivative is negative, so quite obviously it has to be concave down. So that will lead me to option number four. So we have done with question number 12. Now we'll go to question number 13.